Hey guys, Dr. Dave. I wanted to share a funny story that happened this weekend. My wife and I were out in our berry patch and we're busy working and all of a sudden we felt like a mist uh, come over us and we thought maybe it was the neighbor's sprinkler system was blowing over from the wind and we didn't really think much of it. We continued working and it wasn't until later in the day I was playing fetch with our dog Mila and she has this black woolly fur and we're playing fetch back and forth and as uh, I threw the ball and she returned it, her black woolly fur literally turned yellow. She was yellow from her face to her back to her paws. And I said, sure enough, it must be pollen season. And I look up and a gust of wind comes and blows a sheet of pollen off of our pine trees and it just envelops us. And it made me think back to when we were working in the berry patch, that's exactly what had happened is a sheet of pollen had come off of our pine trees um, as we were working in our berry patch. And uh, it makes sense because I was sneezing throughout the day. Um, being from Michigan, the pollen and the allergies really affect me here in North Carolina. And I just thought that was uh, just so funny that we had no clue that that was happening until later on uh, in the day. So if you're from the Carolinas, guess what? It is pollen season. I don't have to tell you that. You look out your window, you look at your car, your car has turned colors from black to yellow. Um, in fact, Every morning you get up, you have to use your windshield wipers because there's so much pollen um, on your windshield. So I wanted to share what I personally do uh, to help with the allergies, um, especially this time of year, in hopes that it may help you as well. So before I get into some supplements that can really help, I wanted to just talk about what that yellow stuff is that's flying around. I uh, had that question a lot here in the office recently. Well, the yellow pollen, essentially what it is, it's microscopic DNA, actually part of the plant's reproductive cycle, and that is how it's spreading its seed across the country. And when when this pollen enters your body, your body literally mounts an immune response to it. It's, it's an antigen, it doesn't want it to be inside there, and it goes down into your GI system, and it activates something called IgE, which is an acute um, allergic response in your body. That allergic response is controlled by the Th2 immune response system in your body, and very simply, all that means is that it creates kind of a domino effect where um, mast cells will be activated. Those mast cells secrete uh, different sort of chemical modulators. The most common one you've probably heard of is, is histamine. So you have high histamines in the body. It creates an inflammatory allergic response. It also activates goblet cells, and that's why you get that mucusy uh, rhinitis or that, that runny nose secretion. So it's important to know that these symptoms it's, it's a normal response of the body. This is your body expressing health. What it's trying to do is take those antigens, move them out of the body through our sinus cavity, uh, through our respiratory system and coughing, and out through our lymph or lymphatic system. So it's a normal response, but the symptoms that you usually see with all of this pollen everywhere is gonna be coughing, wheezing, um, a runny nose, difficulty breathing, or even a fever. So understand that that's a normal response of the body. A lot of this starts off from early childhood. They have shown that when you have a leaky gut or you're not building the right microbiome or gut flora at an early age, it actually increases your risk of allergies later on in life. I think back to myself personally from antibiotic usage, um, taking asthma medication, creating that leaky gut type environment set me up for allergies um, later on. And so when I move down here to the Carolinas, bam, it impacts you um, really quickly and I get those, um, those symptoms quite regularly. So we wanna help build your immune system and we do that through the gut, having the right microbiome, the right flora, and we can do that through diet and supplements. In fact, 60 to 70% of the immune cells in your body are located in the GI system. And the cells that line your stomach and intestinal lining are the same type that are in our sinus cavities. So direct connection there between the pollen coming in, affecting the sinus cavities, and affecting your microbiome health 
as well. And this is what we help people with all the time, not only through chiropractic care, but also through our functional medicine and nutrition program. And I wanna emphasize that it's for all ages. This is not just waiting until you have allergies. We work with a lot of kids in our office as well to help rebuild um, that leaky gut. So I wanted to talk first about chiropractic. Being a chiropractor myself, we help people with sinus issues and allergies all the time. Number one, we talk about the very top part of the spine near the base of the neck is the C1 and C2 nerves. Um, those when activated can actually help um, open up the nasal passages. Uh, our patients will explain that they can breathe better, get more oxygen into their body, um, and affects the ears, eyes, nose, and throat. Also, there are specific sinus adjustments that you can do over the sinus cavities to help break up any congestion. And in a later video, we'll actually be showing you how I specifically do that. For today's purpose, I wanted to share with you what I personally do supplement-wise and hope, with hopes that it can help you as well. A highly effective botanical and herbal supplement is called Allerpro, and there's some specific ingredients that helps uh, with the allergic response. Um, specifically, you look at uh, three things, quercetin, nettle leaf, and bromelain. These are natural anti-inflammatories and they're anti-allergenic as well. They work synergistically to decrease that inflammatory response. And that again is by mediating that Th2 system that we had talked about earlier. Um, licorice root, a, a really good combination in this supplement as well. Licorice root is a very well-known anti-inflammatory and it does that by helping the GI system, specifically the uh, stomach lining. Um, N-acetylcysteine or NAC, this is a potent antioxidant in the body. Antioxidants can help minimize the free radicals, that inflammatory response caused, caused by the uh, antigens. NAC is also a precursor to glutathione, uh, which can increase um, your antioxidant uh, concentration in the body. So Allerpro, um, I take it personally on a daily basis. If you're looking for uh, dosage recommendations, uh, after you purchase it through the office um, or online, please contact us. I can give you the specific dosaging for that. Also foods that would help support this would be your citrus fruits, um, also uh, cruciferous vegetables, specifically broccoli. Also any polyphenols or flavonoids um, are gonna be um, essential with that as well. Um, a really neat one that people don't know is quercetin can also be found in wine. Now I might not necessarily recommend wine during the allergy season, but as long as you're getting it organic, that can actually help you with your uh, allergies as well. Another supplement that I personally use is an essential oil roll-on. This is a blend of lemon, lavender, and peppermint essential oils, and this has been shown to be supportive to helping decrease the inflammation in the sinus cavities and actually helps open up the lungs uh, for respiration as well. This is a roller on, you very, it's very simple to apply. Um, you can take that roller on, you can do it right behind the ears. We can do it on the top part of the sinuses. And the most important is right here at the base of the nostrils where the cheek uh, meets the nose flare right here. There's internal sinuses and when you apply it in a downward motion like this, it'll actually help support and activate the nerves that go right into the sinus passages. Almost immediately, you'll feel those sinuses open up and release. Uh, a lot of the time patients will come in and they'll have congestion. And as soon as they apply this roller, a bottle of essential oils that will help open up and it's actually better to have a runny nose than have congestion to help prevent any risk of infection as well. So those are the two supplements that I use, uh, very effective and uh, they're available here in the office. And again, you've been hearing this through several of our videos here these last couple of weeks is that through this virus pandemic, we are open, we are available, we are here to serve and love on our, on our clients. And for those um, who are interested in coming in, we have available appointment times, whether in the office and we also have available appointment times virtually. So if you'd like to work with me virtually, you want to stay quarantined or stay inside, no worries. We can still help you with natural, herbal, and botanical remedies to help you not only with pain, but if you're dealing with a lot of pollen uh, issues, uh, virus issues, or even the flu, we can help you with that um, as well.